Good to see you and again, well done. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, there's two of us. This is just the two of us. That's how we started last week. Sydney Town Hall gathering, complete seagull. Would you like a flyer? Welcome to the 246th Julian Assange Sydney Town Hall Gathering. It is important for men and women to learn how the world works. Unfortunately, the world works quite differently to how we've been told it works. The world doesn't work through democracy and freedom. The world is controlled, often through deception, as well as coercion. Outlandish lies are promoted in the media and by politicians causing those who believe them to give up their human rights and adopt behaviours which go against common sense or human decency. As Joseph Goebbels once said, quote, if you tell a lie big enough and keep repeating it, people will eventually come to believe it. The lie can be maintained only for such time as the state can shield the people from the political, economic and or military consequences of the lie. It thus becomes vitally important for the state to use all of its powers to repress dissent, for the truth is the mortal enemy of the lie. And thus, by extension, the truth is the greatest enemy of the state." Unquote. We are controlled by big lies. Over the years, there have been many big lies. Today, many of us see through the big lies of the past, but they have had a big impact on the shape of our current world. The big lie in the early part of this century was concerned with terrorism, and we were being told that Saddam Hussein, the president of Iraq, possessed weapons of mass destruction the big lie propelled our government to send military forces to help supposedly bring democracy to the Iraqi people. Of course, we later found out that Saddam Hussein did not have weapons of mass destruction. We did not bring democracy to Iraq. 
and the big lie allowed governments around the world to show decreased respect for human rights with increasing use of mass surveillance and other oppressive security measures. As Goebbels mentioned, an important tactic in maintaining the big lie is repression of dissent. You cannot persist with telling a big lie when the men and women you are telling can gain evidence that contradicts it. Anyone who can convincingly contradict the big lie must therefore be discouraged and silenced to preserve the effect of the big lie. Julian Assange published information that showed the war in Iraq was being conducted in a way that defies the decency of the average man and woman. The big lie that the West was bringing democracy to the Iraqi people was defeated by the truth contained in Julian's journalism. Because of Jul Julian's truthful journalism, he was identified as a dissident that had to be silenced. He was smeared with bogus charges in Sweden and eventually ended up in the custody of the UK's highest security prison for publishing the truth about war crimes. We must always question what we hear in the media and from politicians, especially when we hear it repeated consistently and continually. Constant repetition in the media is a very strong indicator that what is being conveyed needs to be questioned. In recent years, there has been much repetition relating to narratives on climate change, COVID-19, the war in Ukraine, and the genocide in Palestine. We need to question all of the narratives, along with the counter-narratives that often go with them. Counter-narratives are used to pit one part of society against another to cause division. People, when divided, use up their energy fighting each other rather than coming together to solve more significant problems that relate to the corrupt control of governments by powerful financial interests. As well as the smearing of dissidents, a further way that the big lies are maintained is through censorship. Large media outlets censor what they publish while free speech is censored on social media to prevent the spread of important truth and protect the big lie from the truth. Just as it is important for us to eat food that is good for our health, it is important that we are discerning about what we believe. We need to question all information we receive and use our own intelligence to decide whether we should believe it or not. Often we don't have enough details to believe information we receive, so we shouldn't believe it. Instead, we need to remain skeptical and look for additional information that will help us decide the validity of that information for ourselves. We can learn a great deal from Julian Assange and it is vital that we do. The Assange movement continues to help spread important truth. We are all Assange. Free, free, free the truth. Free, free, free the truth. Free, free, free the truth.
Thank you. I'd just like to acknowledge the awesome foursome here today. We've got lovely Maddie here. Let's be the only female. Joseph's one of our most. He's he's he does the Saturday Hyde Park tradition. I'm very discombobulated. He's always discombobulated, but we love that about him because he combobulates us. Without this man here, you wouldn't be watching this video or the last 245. So a little round of applause out there for Gong Steve. Good on you, Gong Steve. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Thank you. Excuse me, Excuse me. are you guys out here? Um, I thought he was already So what is the Well, And that is the first time in the world a journalist has been found guilty of espionage, which clears the way for any journalist anywhere in the world, or in fact you, or in fact me, to be, to be seen as a threat to the US. Deprivation. He finally said, I give up. I'll plead guilty. We are all Assange. 